Hi team, Sam Williams here from Umundi Fitness. I'm talking with you today on mobility, the importance of mobility and how we can use it to start to improve our everyday movement and also improve our performance and exercise. So I use mobility, it is the about the range of movement um, so not static stretching that we're talking about. This is priming the body uh, for exercise and also improving just everyday movement as well. Um, so mobility is done, not holding static stretching like we do at the end of a workout. This is something we can use as a dynamic warm up at the start, say for example, before running. So this, this routine I'm going to show you today is 10 minutes long, but I also advise that you can do this anytime throughout your week. Um, if you've been sitting down for long periods of time, it's also fantastic to do. Um, if you've been driving, etc. cetera, a great workout. Or you can use this uh, just before you start uh, your workout, whether, it's, whether it be running in the gym, etc. So without further ado, I'm gonna get stuck into the workout. So coming onto your mat, we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. You're gonna make sure that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Your core pelvic floor is engaged. So the hips stay locked into that position. Now we're going to do our scapular retracting push-up. So arms stay straight. We're going to drop the chest here. Keep that core on, pushing the floor away as we breathe out. Breathing in, breathing out three more times. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out one more time. Breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful. We're going to go into child's pose from here. So toes together, knees out wide, rocking back onto your heels, stretching through, forward onto your mat for two. Deep belly breaths here. One more, breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful. You're gonna stay onto your knees in this position. This is a fantastic uh, movement here. You're gonna come onto one elbow here, and I'm gonna put my other hand behind my neck here, opening up the chest. And then I'm going to touch the elbow there. I'm going to do that two more times. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. So I'm going to come onto the other side. So onto my elbow again. So hand behind the head, in, breathing out two more times. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful. Well done, guys. So now we're going to go back onto our hands and knees. And we're going to do making sure that core is, is engaged, nice straight back there. Hands are directly underneath those shoulders again. My knees are underneath my hips. I'm going to do some uh, uh, hip openings or knee circles. So engaging that core here, I'm going to bring my knee up and around, up and around, and then I'm going to go the other direction, up and around, big circles, making it nice and big. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So taking that knee again, up, and around, up, and around, other direction, going backwards. Up, make the circle nice and big, up and around, beautiful. Back to hands and knees here. From this position here, we're going to go into a downward dog stretch. So hands, once again, shoulder width apart, tuck those toes underneath, lifting the hips up, drop the heels down into downward dog position. And then we're going to do nice straight back. You're gonna pump the heels, Either side there, feeling that beautiful stretch. A couple more times. Two, one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lunge forward with our right foot. Okay, right foot comes forward, left foot stays back. I'm now going to bring my right elbow into, let's move my hand back so you can see, inside as low as I can get that. If I can go and get that high, that's fine. You're going to bring it in, breathing in. Keep your feet nice and flat on the floor. And then back up, and then I'm going to rotate backwards away. Okay? And then I'm gently going to push it, pushing it, the inside of that knee out. Be very gentle. You're now going to put both hands, take that right foot back, back into downward dog. Okay? Nice and straight through the back there, pumping either side. Okay? And you guess that now comes the left foot forward, left foot forward, right foot back. My left elbow is now going to come inside as low as I can get it. Nice deep breaths there. Hold. That's it. Turning away and then gently pushing that knee outside. Now you can do that routine one more time. So you're going backward into downward dog. Straight through. Nice deep breaths. Pumping each side. That's it. Well done. And then right foot forward again. We're going to go through the same routine again. 
Elbow comes inside, breathing in, breathing out, turn, and then gently pushing that inside knee out, back to downward dog, drop down, pumping either side, nice deep breaths into the belly, left foot comes forward, left elbow inside, rotate, and then gently pushing on that inside knee. Okay, really beautiful there, guys. Slowly releasing out of that one. Well done. We're going to come into our deep sumo squat from here. Okay, I cannot rate the squat highly enough. It is so great for your hip mobility. What we're going to do from here, though, make sure your feet are nice and splayed, heels are into them. That's why I've got those shoes on today. And we're just going to go side to side, just feeling that movement there, allowing our feet forefoot planted, toes spread, heels into the ground. From this position here, we're going to go into our hamstring stretch, slowly coming up, so your hands to the mat, okay? Slowly coming up, stretching through here, okay? And you're just gonna slowly rock side to side in that same position, be very gentle, be very gentle. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, just hold. Two, one. Back into the deep sumo squat, holding here, side to side. That's it, nice deep breaths into the belly, keep your back nice and straight. That's excellent, team. Good, keep it going. Good, breathing in, breathing out, reaching up again. Rocking side to side if you wish. Okay, two, one. Back into the deep squat, nice deep breaths here. Rocking side to side. Well done. Slowly coming out of that one here. Next, we're going to go into our hip flexor stretch. I'm going to start with our right leg so you can see what I'm doing. What we're going to do from this position here, we're going to tuck that tape, that squeeze that glute, switch it on, tucking the bottom right under. Okay, imagine pushing our knee into the mat as well. We're going to breathe in, breathing out, be very gentle. You're going to reach up, pushing into that hip a little bit. Breathing in, breathing out, reaching up. Breathing in. Be very gentle on your lower back. Keep that glute switched on. Breathing out. Beautiful. From this position here, you're going to reach up to the sky, side to side, side to side. A couple of times. Be very gentle. Okay, reaching up. And then very gentle. Keep your hips switched on, glute switched on, side to side here. Beautiful. Slowly coming out of the white ones. We're switching sides. So now my right knee is down, activating that glute first, okay? Pushing that knee into the mat, breathing in, breathing out, leaning back slightly, but keep the glute on, protecting your lower back. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful. All right, reaching up, stretching through, side to side. A couple of times there. Beautiful. Now twisting, be rotating, be very gentle. Keeping that glute switched on, protecting your lower back. Good. Two, one. Beautiful. Okay, slowly coming out of that one there. We're going to come into the rotating squat. Okay, we're going to come back a little bit further. So you can see me. I'm going to come down and then rotate out. So down, touching the opposite hand to toe, then rotating out the other way. Back to the squat, opposite hand to foot, rotating over the right shoulder. Okay, we'll do that again. So left hand to right foot, breathing in, rotate left side. Back to the middle. Right hand to left foot, back to the middle, rotate right side. Okay, we're gonna do that one more each time. Here we go. Breathing in, up, back to the middle. Breathing in. Back to the middle, rotate. Beautiful work, team. All right, so take a few nice deep breaths there. Okay, we've got a couple more to go, doing really, really well. Okay, some side reaches here. So nice deep squat here. We're just gonna do some lovely side reaches. So reaching over, this is such a nice stretch. Breathing in, breathing out, in, breathing out, in, stretching through. Be very gentle if you have Niggly lower back, be very gentle, but it should be a nice, gentle stretch through here. Two, one, I'm going to add the rotation. So, eyesight, 
is following where I want to go. Try and keep your hips square and forward because we're rotating through the upper body here. Keep it going. Two, one. Last one we're going to do, side lunge to back. So what you're going to see, you're only going to see from about my waist down. So you can see my movement. Okay, you're going to come out to the side, nice and deep. Okay, back together. You're going to come forward and then you're going to go to the rear. So nice and deep. Back to the middle. We're going to go again. Side, if you are on a mat, be careful. Take your time. Notice how I'm getting quite deep there. Back to the middle. Then I'm going to the rear. Okay. Back to the middle. Go to the other side. So lunge nice and deep. The inside leg stays where it should be. I am adjusting because I'm trying to stay in the camera there. Get back together. And then rear lunge. Back together. Side lunge nice and deep. Feel that stretch to the back. Beautiful, back together. Side lunge, it's quite a wide lunge. Back together and rear. Beautiful. And we're gonna come back onto our bottom. Resting our hands on our knees. <clears throat> Take a nice deep breath into your belly. And let go. One more, breathing in and breathing out. Wonderful guys, so you can use this, as I mentioned, as a pre-workout warm-up. You can also use it throughout your week. I highly recommend that to keep moving. Mobility is so great for the body. It keeps all the joints nice and loose and so you don't stiffen up, especially if you have a busy...